let's talk about sex. So it's difficult sometimes to be a good parent and also have a good sex life. Am I right? That is my experience, at least for the first three months or even six months, I would say, when Mateo was born. It is difficult, your routine changes, you know, it's tough. We used to have all the time in the world for ourselves and we could have sex in the middle of the day, anywhere, nobody would bother us, we lived alone, but then things change and you have to get creative. So now we kind of try to make time for ourselves. You can, you can still manage. You know, kids take naps, right? You're a mom, you're, especially in my case, you're a breastfeeding mom and you're breastfeeding. You're doing that thing. You are being a mom, you're being a good mom. So it's difficult sometimes to do the switch from being a good mom to being maybe someone else. At least at me, it feels like you're being like you have a different side of you that you know needs to make the switch and sometimes it is difficult i think it's very important to still manage to have a close relationship with your partner because otherwise you know all the attention focuses on the child and then you know your relationship kind of falls apart because all your attention is on the baby or on the toddler and that is that's sad we need to we need to make time for ourselves this is what we do to try to maybe find some time for ourselves. One is we use Mateo's naps. Mateo takes a nap in the middle of the day of about two hours or so. Yeah, we're that lucky. It doesn't necessarily mean that you can have sex just because he's taking a nap, you know? Go for it! But it means that you have time for yourself and then you just, you know, see what happens. Another thing is uh, a wonderful invention of the grandparents. They love to take care of Mateo and that's, that's great because it also gives us time for ourselves. To improve your sex life while you're a parent, just try to make a few changes in your lifestyle that allows you to have more time for each other. You know, your partner deserves some loving too. You have all the loving focused on your child because he's the cutest kid in the world. At least mine is, I don't know about your kid, but mine is the cutest baby in the world. I'm pretty sure I've checked. Get a lock for your bedroom and uh, put on some music and just have fun. Sex is a natural thing. It's part of the relationship. And sometimes when we become parents, we seem to forget about that side of us, that fun side of us that used to go out and spend time with each other and laugh. And being a parent, sometimes life becomes too serious and we need to find those times to be maybe not so serious and enjoy. And I know sometimes it's difficult to have that kind of sexual attraction between you guys when there is a baby, you know, running around. But if you think about it, that is how the baby was conceived in the first place. Today is the end of the world. What else are you going to be doing before the end of the world? Right? Think about it. Anyway, it might not be the end of the world, but it is a new beginning. The end of the year is close. Take it as a good year to start sparkling your sex life with your loved one. Hey right, guys, that is all the stupidity I have for you today. I will see you guys as usual on Monday. Have a great weekend if the world's still here. And 